Right. This time uh, we're going to just modify our application, our Express application here, and we're going to uh, bring in uh, the content uh, JS GraphQL module. So to do that, we're going to do const, uh, and then we're going to spread that later. Require, require. Oops, sorry. Content uh, JS. Oops. GraphQL and this called simple. Actually, let me check. Yes. Simple server with context. Um, and uh, this will create an Apollo server. And uh, we are going to set it about here or not. Apollo server. Server. Oh, the typo. So this just needs some context, and um, we need to provide to create the Apollo server. We only pass it the the context. Um, I'm gonna copy this snippet from here because I have it ready, and I'm gonna go over it with you. So basically, what we're saying is. Uh, this Apollo server with context um, that we have here uh, will be instantiated with pointing to the to itself. Uh, so this is going to point to Contenta.js, which is proxy and requests to uh, Contenta CMS, or you could even uh, put the, the CMS host directly, which points to um, here, whatever you have here in your configuration, uh, whatever it lives. In my case, CMS local. Um, I like to point it to the uh, JS proxy, the one that is sending all my requests uh, through Node to uh, PHP, because I get uh, that extra level of caching, and it uh, sometimes it just resolves locally, uh, which makes it really, really fast. Um, so the JSON API. Prefix is something that we read live at the beginning of the when we boot up the JSON, sorry, the Node application uh, from the uh, CMS server. So we configure that with the connection details basically, and then uh, we apply the Apollo server to the Express application. And basically, what we're do doing here is uh, here is the Express application. And then uh, we're saying that uh, put all our my GraphQL stuff under the slash GraphQL. And then uh, we're saying that uh, it needs to parse the, um, the body. And that's pretty much it, uh, what, you, what you need to, to do. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, we are going to uh, have to we're gonna have to tell it where our type definitions are and uh, where our uh, resolvers are, if we have any. So that lives in a helper file in, in the examples. I'm gonna follow that structure. Uh, and this is pretty simple. So I'm gonna just copy it and comment on it. Uh, Inside of GraphQL, I have a server, Apollo server with context.js. I paste this. And uh, what this will do is this, we're going to read all the files in, in here in the type definitions folder and the uh, resolver map and we're gonna just pass them here. You can see that uh, we get from above, from the other file, we get the CMS host and the JSON API prefix, uh, and we put them inside of the, the context object. Uh, so we're gonna send the context and the type definitions and resolvers, and that's gonna be it. Um, 
basically. So uh, there is a small caveat, in, and it's that we cannot load these files directly, so we have to uh, write a small uh, a s small helper function to read these text files from disk and put them inside of the Apollo server. I have this over here, but I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna bother you uh, showing every every simple detail because. Um, you can you can inspect that yourselves. So basically, what we can do is we can use uh, the helper function that uh, we expose from the content.js GraphQL module, and we are gonna read the relative files and export them uh, like that. So I'm gonna do all that offline, uh, and then we're gonna boot up GraphQL, and uh, we're gonna be very excited about it.